All right, here we go. Live at the NXT. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We are live in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Isn't this where good old JR was born? <laughs> I don't know, but what a way to kick off the show. We have Cassius Ono going up against the Bruiserweight Pre Pete Dunn. Yeah, Pete Dunn. The bruiser weight. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. You know. He says he's trying. Yes, he says. Or at least that's so he says. Oh boy. I am staying neutral. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Cassius. Oh no. <laughs> that was actually pretty perfect. I, I must say. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> and his opponent, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunn. And his opponent, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunn. Man, look at this Pete Dunn, man. He, he looks like he just gone to a war and coming back out for another one. Man, look at this Pete Dunn, man. He looks like he just gone to a war and coming back out for another one. I I, I don't know. I guess that's his pocket. <laughs> I guess it's his pocket too. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess that's his pocket. <laughs> yes, he does. Very agreeable. No, no, no. This is the new NXT arena. Is your is your audio included in this thing? <laughs> well, I thought uh, I already did that automatically. Our uh, co-commentator's <laughs> voice hasn't been in the stream the whole time. Yo, and this guy's mocking Corey Graves up in this bitch. I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, nonetheless, the, the referee uh, rings the bell. Cassius, oh no, starts off with a neck breaker. Uh... I'm a little delayed here, so I'm gonna. Have to... And whoa! <laughs> Cassius Ono with the reversal. Oh, and a hurricane run by Cassius Ono. He might be a big boy with a big gut, but he sure can fight. <laughs> this is true. Oh, shit. 
looking at the replay of the deer. I, I just saw the. It's amazing, Hurricane Rana, but the big dad himself. I think Cassie Sonos have or he has like five children. One of them, he ate. Oh God, he ate his own child. Yeah, he was hungry. Would oh, you God. eat your children if you were hungry? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I've ate one of mine. <laughs> Would you eat your children if you were hungry? I I have. Oh God! <laughs> oh, what a pile driver by Cassie Zono! My God! Cassie Zono uh, has the arm. Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn's not doing well over here, but in my random ass pay per views, he's uh, the WWE whoa. champion. Yes, yes, oh no, took it to the skies off the ropes. Pete Dunn, you know, I don't really like English people. <laughs> I don't really like English people. <laughs> They're weird, their teeth are all crooked, they, they sound weird. He done just He's a weird guy, you know? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh oh stepping on the hand. Step oh now Pete Dunn's in it and he's stepping on the hand of Cassia Sono. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, Pete Dunn's got him up. And and to the fireman's carry. And off the ropes. Now Pete Dunn's starting to fight back. Oh yeah, he, Pete Dunn is actually a master in ring. He uh, he's uh, he knows how to work on a body part and stick with it. Oh, I think boy. Pete Dunn and. Uh, Cassio Soto Pete have Dunn, had some drop kick time. off the second rope. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, go on with what you were saying. I don't think you want to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, well, I asked you, didn't I? <laughs> I think Pete Dunn and Cassio Soto have had some alone time in the bedroom. Oh God! They know. <laughs> they know their wrestling maneuvers. <laughs> oh boy. Um. And you got all this? Uh, did they tell you this, or...? Uh, let's just say, uh, Pornhub was a great website. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a gr it was great. Uh, last night was really fun. I discovered oh. a lot of different... I discovered a lot of different, uh... <laughs> How many videos do they porns. have? Oh man, I gotta say, it's close to like, 205. Five. Oh god! <laughs> Were they all doing the same thing? <laughs> uh, one time I think Pete Dunn was licking the foot of Gasty Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next time, uh, Pete Dunn then licks the middle hand of Gasty Zorro. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> and then uh, I think they were thrusting on each other, and then Pete Dunn was like, "Yeah, give it to me, baby." Uh -huh, oh boy! Uh -huh. <laughs> I couldn't catch all what was going on. I know, I know, uh, Pete Dunn is a very magical superstar here in the business. <laughs> um. Oh boy, here we go, Pete Dunn. Speaking of, but how would that work? Cassius Ono is slightly taller than Pete Dunn. <laughs> uh, I want to see how, what, what's going on here. Oh, Pete Dunn wins the match. <laughs> here is your winner, Pete Dunn. Well, Pete Dunn. Of course, an accomplished superstar winning this matchup by 
sticking it in for the finish of the video. <laughs> Wait, this is the wrong commentary. <laughs> Dang it, Dolphin, who's writing your stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some porn director or something. I think it's Greg Gangrel. Oh, God! Oh boy. <laughs> what a night this is gonna be, folks. Yes. Cause up next we got an eight man dance. Tommaso Ciampa, Roderick Strong, Adrane CM Al Almas, Drew McIntyre, Hideo Atami, Heath Slater, Eric Young and Eric Young and Killian Dane. All in this next matchup. Oh, and I just accidentally oh, yeah. skipped it. And Drew McIntyre won. <laughs> I seriously did not mean to press the X button, but that is okay. Well, well the story we got... here was uh, <laughs> Drew McIntyre was in bed, and then one by one, they. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Dang it. <laughs> Up next, we got TM61, Nick Miller, and Shane Thorne taking on the Authors of Pain. Arkham and well, Razor. These two brothers, they're having weird relations with each part of TM61. And <laughs> oh, God. They went to dinner, but then they found that one of them threw a rock at the car and exploded the windshield. <laughs> and so they came back inside. <laughs> then I think, it's, I think it was Razor threw one of the other members of TM61 across the ring of the uh, dinner and then oh, <laughs> yelled, I am full! <laughs> <laughs> the following is a tag team match. Except for one fall, introducing first TM61. <laughs> oh, here comes one half of the normal brothers and another brother who got through across the dinner table last night <laughs> when they went to dinner. Dolphin, how do you know all this stuff? Oh, <laughs> uh, it was on the latest uh, TMZ video. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't know you watched TMZ. <laughs> uh, I watched it for the wrestling stuff. And man, I gotta say, they had a wonderful dinner last night. Oh, did they? Yeah, except for, I think it was Nick Miller got threw across the dinner table. Uh, oh, by who? <laughs> uh, I think it was Ray's door. I, I don't know, they look the same. Oh, and their opponents, <laughs> Akum, Razor, the authors of Pain. Uh oh, these guys are coming out, and they're about to attack these guys for ruining their dinner. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I wouldn't want to interrupt Authors of Pain while they're eating either. That that would, um... I would be scared, too. Also, I guess these uh, two men were a part of the U.S. military, and so they stole these masks and suits, wore them to the ring ever since. And uh, they're like... <laughs> if they were a part of it, I don't think they would have stole it. Well, they stole it because they got fired. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you get fired from the U.S. military. You want to know why they got fired from the U.S. military? <laughs> sure, enlighten me. <laughs> they threw one of the marshals across <laughs> the dinner table. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let and they were like, was... you're fired. <laughs> Let me guess, he was interrupting Akim while he was eating. <laughs> well, and you see those uh, towels across the mouths of both of them? Yes. Okay, so they went to Undertaker's home in Death Valley. Okay. They tried to, they, they tried to search for Undertaker. But Undertaker was like, no, I'm trying to sleep. And so... <laughs> He chuck slammed both of them, and then they just left. 
with those two racks on the faces. <laughs> oh god. And that's the story of how they became sand people. Oh, this, they're sand people. <laughs> I never knew this. Aikman, Aikman Rizar have now resigned at the Undertaker house in Death Valley, Florida, after they attacked Undertaker and threw him across the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I just wanted to have a nice dinner at Undertaker's house. Undertaker Park kind of set up. <laughs> and then what happened was Undertaker had some steak, but Undertaker would not give them any steak. And so they just threw him across the table. <laughs> and now it's their house. Oh, so now they live in Florida. Of... Well... That's where, uh, I think it's Paul Ellering he used to live. Oh, well, you know, they're but no they longer with Paul Ellering. <laughs> uh, well, Paul Ellering now lives in their basement in the sex dungeon <laughs> of the Undertaker's house. <laughs> oh, uh, and so what you mean to tell me is that they buried him. <laughs> well... What happened was... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, you, you see, after they threw Undertaker across the table... <laughs> uh, what happened was uh, Paul Ellering showed up. Paul Ellering was a big fan of the Undertaker. He yelled at him, saying... <laughs> And that was the end of that uh, video that I watched. Oh, you watched a video. Where was this video at? It was on X videos. Oh, that X was, video. Now sometimes you watch <laughs> X videos. Sometimes I watch Pornhub. <laughs> Dolphin, we already knew this. And then what? But we then also knew. at the end. We, we the already knew you watched Pornhub. Well, but then there was a 30 minute, or not, not a 30 minute, there was a 30 second video. That would have been way too long. There was a scene, a pretty, a pretty graphic scene, I must say. way too long say. for you? No, I, I, I messed up in saying it was 30 oh. minutes, but it was 30 seconds. Uh, so what happened was, uh, <laughs> uh, it was a pretty graphic scene. It was the authors of Pain, and they were thrusting on old dead uh, Paul Eller. <laughs> And that was the end of that video. <laughs> Pretty graphic scene, I must say. One of them was in the front, one of them was in the back. And, you know, oh, it, it God. Just like a, and so, that, that, yeah, it was, it was pretty graphic. But then Undertaker came in, and it became like a three-way against Paul Ellering, I must say. It was, a, it, was a, it was a scary sight that we all... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why? Man, I don't know. Why is the authors of pain on Pornhub? <laughs> well, it, it's because they had a special contract. Uh, and in the contract, it, st it says in fine print, you must throw Paul Ellering across the kitchen table. <laughs> yeah, so, and so... <laughs> No, that's why they had to do it. And then they I get, hope we don't get copyrighted got like a, for all this. They, I mean, if they show the video, we might. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> and for doing that to their old pal uh, Paul, they uh, they then uh, got a hundred dollars each. Oh, they got a hundred bucks. I'm ready to get, yeah, that, ready good to get that from out of Elring's pocket. Uh, yeah, and then <laughs> also, I got, 
what happened was they spent the money on two uh, dildos. <laughs> and, oh, did they? <laughs> that was the uh, that was the end of uh, that kind of small video. Oh, kind of small like video. Ten... <laughs> it was like a four-minute video, maybe five. <laughs> I'm glad you know the rest of these videos. <laughs> ben, when you're into wrestling, things never change. <laughs> well, how do you know? The, how can you remember the length of these videos? Like, <laughs> just how? Well, what happened was, uh, well, you see Akum. Popped out of the TV screen like a 3D video. Okay. And it was like, put the, put these down! Put the numbers on this video down! It's, and so it did. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so they're written on here. Yeah, uh, let's see. The one where they were thrusting on poor, poor old man Paul <laughs> was, <laughs> was, uh, I think, three minutes. Uh,. The one where the dinner happened with uh, the brothers and the brothers was about like 45 minutes. Holy and, crap, uh, that's a long dinner. I'm <laughs> I'm getting reports that there's another video that happened. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh no, the referee was involved. <laughs> And so, what happened in this video, I guess, uh, the referee counted to ten, he said stop it, but then they started thrusting on the on the referee. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I guess they and, threw him uh, through the announcer's table. Well, sort of. Uh, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> what happened was, uh, they, were, they were on like a five-story building, oh, and God. they threw the ref. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Through the ref off of that, it, it was a tall uh, dinner area, and so they threw the referee five stories off the building, and oh, that was, at the end was a trampoline with a uh, announce table. <laughs> oh God, that poor ref! <laughs> and it's this re ref right here. All he oh, broke was. Uh, <laughs> I think he broke one of his uh, testicular ball things, <laughs> and so testicular ball. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so <laughs> and, but the other one's all right. Uh, reports are saying he may have uh, his ball might have fallen off. Oh, he was falling up there. And so, I think he's okay. Oh, do you think he's okay? <laughs> uh, and I guess, uh, I think it's Nick Miller's uh, sister was not happy, and so she uh, or, uh, grabbed a handful of her hair and threw it. At, uh, I think it was Razor, and by mistake, when Nick Miller uh, was uh, he, he was in the way, but then he got out of the way and it hit Razor in the eyes. And then <laughs> I think it's Razor threw Nick Miller's sister on a 10 story building. Through <laughs> oh a, my uh, god! Two, two tables. Yeah, it, it was bad. <laughs> oh my god! That poor woman. Uh, I think she, I think one of her boobs popped. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're gonna have to change the rating to the show. No, 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 this is educational for little kids. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, I, I think, oh my god, they keep on kicking out, and they didn't kick out when they got through from the announcer's table, I'll tell you. <laughs> Is that what brought them to this match here tonight? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> and the death of Paul. 
Oh, and the and the death of Paul. Okay. Oh, what what a man. Well, you know they killed Paul Elring, right? Not TM six one. Wait a minute, I'm getting another report here. Oh wait, TM six one wins the match. <laughs> and now Akam and Razor have to buy TM six one dinner next time. <laughs> wait, what? TM six one paid for their dinner? Yeah, and now Akam and Razor have to pay for dinner next time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a what a contest. Yeah. The story here. As we have to change the rating to triple X. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you. After a, a testicular ball and a boob pops <laughs> and fell out, I think this is gonna be interesting here today. Alright, a triple threat match is up next. Kurt Hawkins, Johnny Gargano, and Lars Sullivan. Are all up so next what happened? in action. <laughs> oh god. What happened? What happened? <laughs> <clears throat> well, you see, Lars Sullivan had a full head of hair. And okay. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> Come on, Dolphin, Johnny spit Gar it out. <laughs> Johnny Gargano had, or was bald at one point. Oh, God. And, <laughs> <laughs> while Lars Sullivan was sleeping, Johnny Gargano had uh, snuck into his house and uh, found his GPS location because uh, he left, Lars Sullivan left his GPS location on his suitcase. Well, but... <laughs> As Johnny Gargano had uh, stuck into his house, he uh, uh, shaved his head bald, put his head and glued it on him. <laughs> uh, what? Kurt, as we have uh, found, uh, I guess Kurt Hawkins was sleeping in the bed with Lars Sullivan. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so, I guess uh, that's why this match is happening. Wait, what does Kurt Hawkins... <laughs> Why was Kurt Hawkins sleeping in the bed with him? Well, Kurt Hawkins has found love with Potter Sullivan. Oh, God. And you see that pole? Oh, well, both of yeah. them. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's just say that pole is unclean from last time that it was used. <laughs> And uh, also, the winner of this match gets Johnny Gargano's hair. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. <laughs> well, I guess after all that. <laughs> Johnny Gargano does not want to lose his hair tonight. Look at those beautiful locks. Oh, God. Wait, wait. You mean to tell me if Lars Sullivan wins, he gets to shave Johnny Gargano bald? <laughs> and then he puts that hair on his head and glues it on. Oh, okay. <laughs> not just any glue, well hot glue. <laughs> oh, God. That might turn him on. <laughs> oh, well, I gotta tell you something here. Oh, okay. Lars Sullivan also had pubes, too. But also, Johnny Gargano shaved off that and put it on his beard. And now that's what you're seeing on his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Hawkins is here because he slept with Lars Sullivan. And, that's uh, not the only just... reason. Uh, he also threw a uh, glass plate at Lars Sullivan because uh, <laughs> he was pissed at Johnny Gargano. <laughs> and so, Johnny, or no, not Johnny, uh, Lars Sullivan threw uh, Kurt Hawkins through the kitchen uh, counters. Oh, God. 
I know, a lot of throwing across rooms here. <laughs> yeah. Everybody hates each other. Oh, there's a pain with the kitchen table. <laughs> um, no, that was, that was dinner table. Oh, oh whatever. Talking. Anyway, and then Lars Sullivan um, throwing him across or uh, into the counter. <laughs> what? What is going on, E Brand? <laughs> Not only that, but then Lars Sullivan had uh, taken off the counter from its hinges. Oh God! Uh, shut the door and then place it down. Place it down on the floor, and then he opened it up and then took a shit in that uh, <laughs> counter on Johnny Gargano. I know about uh, Kurt Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> and then he threw. That counter after it got Kurt Hawkins got shit on, <laughs> and he threw it uh, into this arena here. Oh and now we're god! Here this match. So wait, where's the counter at? Uh, I think yeah. Uh, before this event, while people were standing in line. Kurt Hawkins had ripped it up and gave it to all the fans here in the NXT universe. Oh boy, I'm sure that's just what they wanted. It was. I mean, you got a piece of uh, Lars Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and his and his probably I'm sure his big doo doo. <laughs> yeah, his, his big his shit that's in the counter. I mean, everybody everybody gets one of those. <laughs> So th this match is for uh, Lars Sullivan's hair. Lars Sullivan's hair. So wait, I if also, Lars Sullivan loses, then you mean to tell me he loses his beard? He also loses his chest hair. Oh god. <laughs> and one of his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? What's with the nipple now? <laughs> Nipples are great. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I rub mine once in a while. <laughs> Dolphin, that's a little more than these kids need to know. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's all it's educational all the time here at NXT. <laughs> I'm gonna change the rating of the show is what I'm gonna do. I mean that's fine. <laughs> to 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 rate a G. <laughs> also the winner of this match gets custody of Kurt Hawkins. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I'm dying to hear this story. Well, you see, Lars Sullivan, the big papa bear that he is, has uh, took custody of Kurt Hawkins. And now, uh, well, you see, other stuff happened in the process because Kurt Hawkins didn't know that I was his father. So, uh, uh, we have we have the papers right here. Oh, 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 that's, oh, that's, uh, oh yeah, I see them. So that's good. Kind of had some uh, issues, and uh, well, you see, Kurt Hawkins and Lars Sullivan did the do, uh, and uh, that's kind of weird <laughs> considering it's a summer. Kurt Hawkins uh, and Lars Sullivan uh, did the do. <laughs> <laughs> and, I gotta, <laughs> and I gotta tell you, and if Kurt Hawkins wins, yeah, he just gets the hair, even though he has hair. <laughs> <laughs> he can get bigger eyelashes. <laughs> Wait, whose hair does he get? Uh, whoever he pins. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Wait, does, does and, that mean uh, he, does that mean he gets to pick who he wants to go to? As his for his father? <laughs> uh, if Kurt Hawkins wins, his father is the referee here today. Oh God! Kurt Hawkins could have a new father, a new dad. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if that referee really wants Kurt Hawkins to be his dad. 
I mean, it looks like he was talking to him and having some fun there. I don't know. Uh, I mean, anything's possible here in the WWX. <laughs> XXNXT. Yeah, XXNXT. <laughs> 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 and my Lars Sullivan's getting a baseball bat. What the hell is he thinking? Well, there is no it rules like in this bat. match. <laughs> it looks like. Oh my god! <laughs> Kurt Hawkins just bounced off of fucking the rope there. But anyway, that bat looked like the uh, giant stick that Kurt Hawkins got it in his butt earlier <laughs> last night. <laughs> You mean by Lars Sullivan? Yeah. Oh god, you mean, you, you mean Lars Sullivan is that big? Lars Sullivan has a black cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Weird, I know. <laughs> That's very like, weird, see, very creepy. <laughs> How do I know, you ask? Well, yes. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did some research, and... Oh, Sullivan wait, Kurt Hawkins dad. won! The referee's got a new son! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the boyhood dream has come true for Kurt Hawkins! <laughs> In the words of JR, by God, by God, that kid has a family name. Oh my God. Anyway, back to the story. Lars Sullivan, I looked up and his dad was white and he had a black oh cock. God. Oh! <laughs> Well, How that happened was he he was testing out some stuff, and he burned his dick, and that's why it was stayed black. Well, and that's why Lars Sullivan has a black dick. Well, moving on, we got MVP versus Eli Drake. I have no idea who Eli Drake is. He's an Impact wrestler. Uh, so uh. I'm hearing reports that MVP <laughs> was doing some basketball lessons. Okay. And Eli Drake uh, stopped by. He was like, "Hey, can I ha can I uh, train with you?" And uh, MVP was like, "Sure." And so when Eli Drake was dunking the basketball, MVP pulled him from the hoop and did a suplex. Oh God. <laughs> On the court too, no less. That must have really hurt. Yeah, really. And they fell through the entire courtroom, and so it was a 50-foot drop. And then they fell, th they fell through hell, and they fought in hell, and they saw, they saw a demon. The demon possessed Eli Drake, and uh, the words of Eli Drake can only be described as, uh, give me one moment. <laughs> And, uh, he took the soul of MVP, and now MVP is a zombie. And that's how we got to this match. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see how it plays out. And here comes the zombie, MVP. Oh, well, he's got a skull on his chest. What does that represent, that definitely, do you know? That, that represents a red zombie. Oh, okay. Oh, well, he's one happy zombie. That's for sure. <laughs> His, uh... He really likes being a zombie, he told me earlier. And also, MVP was like... I'm amazed he didn't bite you. Well, he he was going to. But then I gave him my, my shoe. And then it's always just not on that in the corner. <laughs> Is that why you're without a shoe here tonight? Uh, well, it gave me back the shoe, but then I didn't want it. So yeah, I have one less shoe. What are you going to go home and tell your wife? 
Uh, she asked you about life... a shoe. <laughs> my wife has been dead for uh, two years now. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you talking to anybody? <laughs> uh, well, I'm talking about I'm talking to this pope in uh, France. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking to the pope for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to the Pope in France. I don't know. <laughs> and I guess there's a law that a woman can be the Pope. And the Pope now is Tamina. Oh, God. So you're potentially dating Tamina. <laughs> I mean, she is strong. I do like me some strong women. <laughs> dating Tamina. Oh, man. The rubbing the, f the forearm across his head. <laughs> now, the stipulation here is if uh, MVP wins, then he takes one half of that skull and gives it to Eli Drake. Okay. And then Eli Drake becomes half zombie. What about if Eli Drake wins? Uh, he gets to... Uh, Get a shotgun and then shoot uh, one of MVP's eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, look, there's a sign in the crowd that says, Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my mom wants to NXT. Mom, what are you doing? This is not a good reading of a show. Mom, you should start for life. Mom, don't. Oh, turn it off. <laughs> well, it's nonetheless, Eli like Drake grabbing it where the sun don't shine. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, wait no, I'm MVP sorry. He, have... <laughs> he punched him there. Never mind. I think Eli like Drake grabbed one of MVP's text testicular balls there. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, grabbed it, and I don't see anything there anymore. I oh, think Eli like Drake had no ball. I feel like Drake had one ball to start with. <laughs> you mean that he's even one, he's even. <laughs> Eli Drake is happy to be alive here tonight. Eli Drake, if he wins, he gets a he gets a whole new set. He gets a new pair. <laughs> he gets his balls back. <laughs> yes. Why? What the heck is this? Oh my God! <laughs> oh wait, here we go, Eli Drake for the cover, referee, with his face, er, with Eli, <laughs> pretty much the referee was putting his face into Eli's butt. <laughs> and I bet the ref likes that, but this is kind of weird, considering Kurt Hawkins is his son now. I know, right? This ref can do, this ref can do whatever he wants to take Kurt Hawkins in his free time. <laughs> This is a weird show, I'll tell you. I know. And Eli Drake <laughs> wins. Eli Drake gets a new pair. Hand it by me. Here, I'll give you one, Eli Drake. <laughs> Wait, what are you going to do? Here. No, now you're without one. Get... Yeah, but I can, I can survive with one. I'm a dolphin. <laughs> That's right. You got a blowhole. <laughs> My blowhole is now considered. <laughs> it's considered a. <laughs> I gave Eli Drake one magical dolphin hair, and then it became, <laughs> it became a testicle ball, and that's how the end of the story works, folks. All right, now I'm dying to hear this story. Finn Balor, Alexander Wolf, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Roode, and Alistair Black in a fatal four way. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so what happened here? Bobby Roode was in the shower. He was singing his theme song. <laughs> and, uh,. <laughs> Balor, 
he he was in the public uh, showers with uh, oh, Bobby. God. He was getting he was getting ready to uh, go into the other one, but then he he his ears caught something magical, and he he put on. <laughs> <laughs> he put on his magical face paint. He was like, <laughs> he started popping up, facing uh, Bobby Roode, right? And <laughs> so <laughs> he had that really weird look on his face. And then, weirdly enough, Alexander got pissed off because uh, he <laughs> he got kicked out of sanity. Just uh, like a week ago, <laughs> and so he was like, he found a bar of soap. He went into the shower with both of them, and he was like, ha, 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 "You dropped a bar of soap." <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then uh, <laughs> this man, Alistair Black, right here, the lights turned off, and then it did a. Uh, I needed a, an electrician, and so <laughs> Alistair Black got a stool. He uh, put a new light bulb into the showers, and then they had a freak fatal far away for the ages. Say Bobby Roode's <laughs> song at the end. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> well, this match ought to be absolutely positively glorious. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you though, Alistair Black then kicked everybody in the shower. He said, oh, I have the soap now," and then he <laughs> left. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. So, All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this matchup is for the bar of soap. Here comes that Alex Wolf, Alexander Wolf, the man who got pissed off from being kicked out of city. Got into the shower.
Hey Dolphin. 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 I might be right back. Yeah, I do have a mic. Text stuff in here real quick. All right, folks, time for our main event of Adam Cole, baby, and see Amp.
my god. Dolphin, you here now? Mm, uh. Wait, what? <laughs> um, so Dolphin, while you was gone, Alexander Wolf took the win. Oh shit. That match was quick, I guess. Adam Cole versus CM Punk right now. How'd this match occur? Uh, so they first off in the Indies, and, uh, I guess, like, Adam Cole shaved CM Punk's head. And so, CM Punk was like, yo, what the heck? And so he called out Adam Cole, and here we are. And if Adam Cole wins, he gets one of CM Punk's pinky toes. <laughs> what? And if CM Punk wins, he gets one of Adam Cole's uh, middle fingers. Oh God! <laughs> hey Thunder, I'm hearing an echo. And what? I have no idea. Oh, it's probably from my stream. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. I was like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> yeah. So, who do you think's gonna win? Adam Cole trying to get one of CM Punk's uh, pinky toes, or CM Punk with one of uh, Adam Cole's middle fingers. I think CM Punk's gonna gain another middle finger. <laughs> hey, 
He's going to put it on his face. So it looks oh, like he's a gonna, dick. He's going to put it up his butt where the sun don't shine. And he'll enjoy it too. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, this night has been very crazy. And it's a Wait, shame did you say that Alexander we have Alexander Wolf won. Uh-huh. <laughs> so the man who got pissed off from being uh thrown out of NXT had a uh, had won the match. Yep. Or no, not NXT, uh, Sanity. <laughs> Why would Adam Cole shave his... Or CM Punk's head bald? Now, actually, this match is if CM Punk wins, he cuts off Adam Cole's hair. And if Adam Cole wins... Uh... He gets CM Punk's hair. Wait, CM Punk has no That's hair. Gonna... I didn't say that hair. Oh God! <laughs> his leg hair, his uh, toe hair. His, uh... <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> His ass hairs. <laughs> Should we go on? Uh, his dick hairs? Yeah. <laughs> what about his testicular bulk hairs? <laughs> it's all the same area. I don't know. What about his grundle hairs? What? <laughs> it's in the middle of the ass and the uh, balls. Oh. I've never that heard of that. <laughs> I have, and I've been fascinated ever since. Oh boy. CM Punk's a good man. He told me he'd get a tattoo of my dolphin face on on his ass. <laughs> if he wins this match, he'll put a tattoo of me on his ass. Such a good man. Maybe that's his. And then he'll put my tattoo. Oh, what a super kick! And then he'll put his uh. Or my blowhole. What? <laughs> On his dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Damn. This is a damn clinic in this ring. CM Punk won as it joined the Undisputed Era, but then they gave it to No Way Jose instead. Oh god. And now No Way Jose took Alexander Wolf's spot in Sanity. Wait, what? Yeah. You don't remember that? That was last week. This is true. <laughs> These two will not give up. There's the GTS. And there's Trud Hawkins' dad as a referee. <laughs> CM Punk does it. CM Punk gets Adam Cole's Nipple. What? What about the blowhole and your face? Screw that. 
He gets Adam Cole's right nipple. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a great night of action. That was. Thank you all. AKA Dolphin only, mainly. For joining me on our first adventure of NXT. NXT. Till the next show. Take. See wait, wait, you wait, 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 wait. later. Wait. What? Wait. Take care and suck those titties. <laughs>